Don't act like it's a chore. I look forward to the holiday. Mom's right. We should enjoy this time of year. I'm not trying to ruin this for anyone. I just have other things I could be doing, that's all. And what could be more important than this? Oh, up to it, everyone! Hair was blinking. Don't forget to smile. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the whole and the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, with the atomic mass for which it stands, one number, most divisible, with atoms and molecules for all. <laughs> And cheers to the saints of secular humanism. Everyone, you can stop sucking a stick. You will miss these moments when you don't have them. Not likely. Oh, that's right. Because how it is now is how it's always going to be. Great. So things will always be fucked up. Wrong. No, be perfect. Ah, perfectly balanced. Thanks to the first General Assembly of Weights and Measurements. 1889. Where the Supreme Leader of the Bureau of Weights and Measurements took hold of a chaotic world. Oh, and they put us safely under its thumb. They established and enforced the measurements we take for granted today. Oh, thank you, propaganda pirates. I don't even want to think about what it was like before the measuring. All those poor savages wandering around grasping at random numbers. Having no idea how much to eat, drink, how long to sleep. How long to have sex. Honestly, what kind of pervert needs more than four minutes? <laughs> 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 I would be lucky to last four minutes. Hey, watch it. You're hearing your cap with a lot of sarcasm. Oh, sorry. I'll save it for when I really need it. Now that's the spirit. Sam does the same thing with our arguments. <laughs> it's true. I've been saving up my hostility so that I can really let my temper go. There are things, some things, which I can't say now, but when we can, it's going to be ever. <laughs> <laughs> I need to save my optimism. I wasted it all yesterday on a lottery ticket. Oh, honey, that was a foolish indulgence. I still have food for the rest of the year. You give people a year yourself. Mama, you know too much of one thing can make everything out of balance. Imagine people being sad all the time. Or happy. Ooh, my <laughs> me. I have to go take my sad pill. Can't get too happy now. <laughs> Think of all the atrocities we've eliminated. People that used to be discriminated because of their skin. It's monstrous. Exactly. Now we have scientifically accurate means of calculating a human's value. Which is why we got rid of Michigan. <laughs> hey, we didn't have to burn it off the face of the earth. Actually, if you watch C-SPAN like an adult, you would have seen the supreme measure's map. It needed to go. Yeah, and I'm sure you followed all of that. Do you remember when 2 plus 2 was, oh, I pee in my pants! I knew the answer. I was, I was just afraid to do math in front of the class. <laughs> well, it is too bad about those cherries. I was really looking forward to having some on Wiley's Day. Oh, is that coming up? Oh, June 20th, right around the corner. You always eat too much that day. Well, it's the only day that's allowed. Because of Harvey Wiley, the father of pure food. He was a lunatic who ate toxic food. He had to, to prove it was unsafe, thus requiring a system of quality, good food. And ever since then, our food has been processed by the Bureau of Waste and Measurement. Long may they measure. <laughs> Isn't that a made of steak? I'm from a guy that used to eat rancid food full of pig. Well, don't forget borax. I know they say it's eating more than a serving size is a criminal offense. Stop being dramatic. Oh, it's nothing more than a slap on the wrist. It's like smoking weed. We're hitting one of those number two people with your car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would you want all that crazy shit in your food anyway? No more sugar for me. I'm happy with my poison. I'm not worried about what they're keeping out. I'm worried about what they're keeping in. What are they teaching you at that college? What questions to ask? Well, just remember, there is a limit. You can only question the government so much. <laughs> I agree. Well, what? 
or else things get out of hand. I still remember in elementary school when they taught us that even the biggest droplets of water can add up to flooding a basement. You think what you're doing doesn't have consequences. It does. Yeah, stop ruining molding. Hey now, <laughs> be nicer to your sister. 8% nicer, give or take. <laughs> Why? She's not even my real sister. <gasps> now who's ruining molding? I'm just saying, we're not blood related. We're just statistically assigned siblings. That is because the number said we were the optimal family unit. Are we done? Yeah. Suddenly, you don't trust the math? Oh, sorry, Michigan, but now is the time to have doubts. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Especially not on a thing day. And families are allowed to have disagreements. How much? Not much more. It all adds up. You know, one day, you are going to look back and realize you said something crazy. Like, we're not mole people. <laughs> and I cannot describe how absurd that is because we know what a mole is, and I don't have to describe it because you know what I'm talking about. Right on. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd power. An essential count of particles chemically identical. Meaning what? Sure, not the questions for the day. We don't have to give you any more answers. Avocado's contract. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's eat. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you could have made something up, you know? You could have lied. At least you'd be trying. Honey, I can't lie to you. I've used up all my dishonesty lines on Paul. Because I've used up all of my mind to her. Which is why I've had to lie to myself about our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hungry. Well, at least we have that in common.